For years, Baron Trump has remained a figure largely shielded from public attention, and his life as the son of a former president has been the subject of speculation. However, those who knew him during his high school years have started to share some fascinating insights into his experience. The young man who many knew as Jack, instead of Barron, led a life far from the ordinary, especially during his time at Oxbridge Academy. Today, we delve into these revealing details about Baron Trump's high school experience, shedding light on the unique challenges he faced. Just watch what his friends had to say. Despite his larger-than-life family, Baron Trump's time at Oxbridge Academy was marked by an intentional effort to keep his identity under wraps. His friends knew him by the name Jack, a precautionary measure taken to safeguard his privacy. Officially registered under that alias, the school's faculty and staff played along. It was a tactic that worked most of the time. But for those in the know, it led to amusing moments, especially when a substitute teacher called out Jack during attendance, not realizing they were actually referring to Baron Trump, the son of the 45th President of the United States. For Baron, this alias served more than just protecting his identity. It helped him blend in with his classmates and allowed him to experience high school in a way that was somewhat normal, though never truly ordinary. The very use of a different name created a sense of duality. He was part of the crowd, but never fully within it. He attended classes, mingled with peers between lessons, but there was always an invisible line that separated him from the world around him. While his classmates may have shared similar backgrounds, many coming from affluent or politically connected families, Barron's life remained distant in many ways. Despite the commonalities, his personal experiences set him apart. As his peers buzzed about viral TikTok trends and the latest social media craze, Barron was left on the sidelines. Social media, after all, was strictly forbidden by his mother, Melania Trump, who was determined to protect her son from the constant flood of news and gossip surrounding his family. Though Barron may not have participated in online trends, his friends recall a young man who had his own sense of humor and charm. Barron was very funny and sociable, one friend reminisced. He'd start the most random conversations, and he could be genuinely entertaining. While his classmates might have been glued to their screens, Barron connected with them through his personality, proving that one doesn't always need social media to build relationships. However, even with these moments of connection, a lingering sense of isolation was always present. Barron's world was so different from his peers that it often seemed like he was observing from a distance, unable to fully participate in the everyday experiences that defined their lives. While the typical high school student may spend time discussing weekend football games, upcoming dances, or even their latest social media post, Barron's experience was far from this norm. His friends, who tried their best to include him, often found him to be somewhat elusive when it came to these traditional teenage activities. Barron, for example, never attended school football games or dances, and even when his peers planned social outings or talked about dating, he remained distant. One classmate commented, He was mysterious. We never really knew what he did outside of school. If he had a girlfriend, it was kept top secret. It wasn't just that Barron wasn't interested in these activities. His life circumstances created barriers that made it difficult to join in. Security concerns, privacy restrictions, and the constant presence of Secret Service agents formed an invisible wall around him. Barron's friends would chat enthusiastically about their social lives, but for him, it was another reminder of the normal teenage experiences he couldn't fully engage with. One of the most notable restrictions placed on Barron was his complete detachment from social media. In an age where most teens live through their phones, documenting every moment on Instagram, Snapchat, or TikTok, Barron's absence was stark. His mother, Melania Trump, was deeply protective of him and refused to allow any social media involvement. She also ensured that he wouldn't appear in any yearbook photos, further emphasizing his separation from the world of constant sharing that most of his classmates embraced. For his peers, this decision seemed foreign. Social media was an integral part of their lives, where they not only shared moments but built and maintained friendships. To not be on social media was, in many ways, to not exist. 
Yet Barron defied this norm. Despite the absence of an online presence, his personality shone through in real-life interactions. He didn't rely on trending hashtags or viral content to be noticed. His friends recall his wit and humor as his primary means of connection. In some ways, this made him stand out even more, as he represented something increasingly rare in modern teenage life, a person who could engage deeply without the need for a digital platform. Despite the challenges Barron faced in fitting into the social fabric of Oxbridge Academy, there's no denying that the school itself provided a backdrop of immense privilege. State-of-the-art facilities, small class sizes, and a rigorous curriculum all combined to create an elite environment. Students at Oxbridge were used to luxury, and Barron was no exception. However, even in this world of opulence, Barron's experience was markedly different from his peers. While most of his friends embraced the school's extracurricular activities, whether it was supporting the football team, attending school dances, or participating in clubs, Barron often remained on the outskirts. His decision to avoid these events was not just a personal choice. It was also influenced by the ever-present need for security. His friends understood that, for Barron, attending a dance or football game wasn't as simple as walking into the gym or onto the field. There were protocols, security measures, and potential risks that complicated what would otherwise be normal teenage events. A friend of Barron's once explained, We always invited him to things, but he just couldn't come. It was too risky. The need for security was a constant in Barron's life, and it extended beyond just school functions. It was a reality he lived with every day. Perhaps the most distinguishing aspect of Baron Trump's high school experience was the presence of the Secret Service. Every day, Baron arrived at school in an SUV with agents discreetly following him. Whether in class, between lessons, or even heading to the bathroom, there was always someone nearby, keeping a watchful eye. At first, Baron's classmates were intrigued by the security detail. The sight of agents standing outside classrooms or trailing behind Barron drew curious looks and questions. However, over time, it became part of the norm. We just got used to it, said one student. After a while, no one even noticed them anymore. It became routine. Still, the Secret Service presence was a constant reminder of the unique life Barron led. While his friends walked through the halls freely, Barron's every move was monitored. During an emergency lockdown caused by a nearby incident, the Secret Service swiftly moved Barron to safety, an event that left a lasting impression on those around him. It was a moment that underscored just how different his reality was from that of his classmates. As Barron's friends continued to reflect on his time at Oxbridge Academy, one theme kept coming up, his absence from many of the typical high school experiences. While his friends were busy with extracurriculars, parties, and social events, Barron often found himself left out. Not by choice, but by necessity. One friend summarized it well. He never really got to do the normal high school things, like going to prom or joining the sports teams. I think he enjoyed high school in his own way, but there was always something missing. Despite being a huge soccer fan, Barron never played on any of the school sports teams. He watched from the sidelines, unable to participate in the activities that most teenagers take for granted. His high school experience was defined not just by the events he attended, but also by the many he missed out on. One of the more peculiar aspects of Barron's high school experience was his approach to lunch. Unlike most teenagers, who would rush to the cafeteria to grab a bite and catch up with friends, Barron had a different routine. While he would always join his friends in the lunchroom, he never actually ate. This behavior puzzled his classmates. Oxbridge Academy wasn't your typical high school when it came to food. The school's cafeteria offered a wide variety of dishes that would rival high-end restaurants. From American staples to Asian and Indian cuisine, there was something for everyone. There were even special holiday meals featuring gourmet options like steak. Yet despite the impressive spread, Barron always declined to eat simply waiting until he returned home. His friends found this behavior curious, but never questioned him too deeply about it. He would come to the lunchroom and sit with us, one classmate said, but he'd never eat anything. He never really explained why. 
We just accepted it as one of those things about Baron. For some, this added to the air of mystery that surrounded him. Why would someone with such access to top-tier food choose not to partake? Was it a personal preference or a security measure? The answer remains unknown, but it's clear that even something as mundane as lunch had a layer of complexity for Baron. While Baron's friends described him as funny and sociable, it was clear that he struggled with the isolation that came with his unique circumstances. As much as his classmates tried to include him in their lives, there was always a sense that Baron existed on the periphery. He wasn't an outsider in the traditional sense. He had friends. He engaged in conversations. But there was a distance that no one could bridge. This isolation wasn't just emotional, but also physical. The constant presence of Secret Service agents meant that Baron could never fully immerse himself in the life of a regular high school student. While his friends could easily walk to the football field or head to a classmate's house after school, Baron's movements were far more restricted. The need for security always loomed over him, preventing him from enjoying the spontaneous freedom that many of his peers took for granted. He never went to parties or hung out after school, a friend recalled. It wasn't that he didn't want to, it's just that his life was different from ours. There were rules and boundaries that we didn't have to deal with. As the class of 2024 prepared for their graduation from Oxbridge Academy, the excitement was palpable. For most students, it was a time of celebration, a milestone marking the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. But for Barron, graduation day was bittersweet. His father, former President Donald Trump, made a rare public appearance to attend the ceremony, taking a break from his legal battles to support his son. The level of security at the event was unprecedented. Secret Service agents were stationed at every corner of the campus, and each guest was thoroughly screened through metal detectors. It was a far cry from the typical high school graduation, and for many of Barron's classmates, it was a stark reminder of just how different his life had been compared to theirs. Though Barron had spent three years at Oxbridge, his high school experience had never fully aligned with that of his peers. The ceremony, while joyous for most, highlighted the contrast between Barron's life and that of the average student. His friends celebrated their freedom and their future, eagerly planning parties and trips to mark the end of high school. But for Barron, the future seemed more uncertain. He had excelled academically, particularly in science, but few knew what his next steps would be. His father had mentioned college in passing, but like much of Barron's life, the details were kept under wraps. One of Barron's friends captured the feeling of the moment. We were all excited about graduation, but for Barron, it felt different. While we were planning parties, he had a whole different reality to face. It was like he was missing out on the things we took for granted. Following his graduation, Barron began to slowly step out from the protective bubble that had surrounded him throughout his high school years. One of the first public glimpses of this shift came when he appeared at a Trump campaign rally in Miami. The crowd roared with applause as Barron confidently took the stage, mimicking his father's signature fist pump. It was a moment that revealed a different side of Barron, one that was growing more comfortable with the spotlight, more assured in his presence. For many, this was the first time they had seen Barron so publicly. Gone was the awkward teenage phase, replaced by a young man who was sharp, confident, and quietly charismatic. His presence at the rally signaled that perhaps Barron was ready to take on a more visible role, both within his family and in the public eye. As his involvement in his father's political activities grew, Barron began to find a place where he could belong. It wasn't within the walls of Oxbridge Academy or on the sports field, but rather in the complex and often contentious world of politics. Having spent his formative years watching his father navigate the highest levels of power, Barron had grown up fast. The large age gap between him and his siblings meant that, in many ways, he had grown up as an only child. This, combined with the unique pressures of being a Trump, had shaped him into someone who felt more at ease among adults than with his teenage peers. As Barron emerged from his teenage years, those who knew him best began to see glimpses of the man he was becoming. No longer just the son of a former president, Barron was starting to carve out his own identity. While his mother, Melania, had worked tirelessly to keep him out of the limelight during and after his father's presidency, 
Baron was now beginning to step into it with newfound confidence. One of the most striking moments of this transformation came when Baron hosted a dinner at Marlago, entertaining guests including the Iranian-American businessman and podcaster Patrick Bet David. According to Bet David, Baron was not only sharp and articulate, but also funny and charismatic. He's tough, not weak, Bet David remarked. He ran the dinner with stories and entertainment. It was clear that Baron was becoming his own person. For those who had seen Baron's quiet and reserved side during high school, this public persona was a surprise. It was as if the young man who had once struggled with isolation and the pressures of being in the public, I was now embracing his place in it. He was no longer the quiet observer in the background. He was stepping forward, ready to take his place in the world. Baron Trump's high school experience was anything but ordinary. From using an alias to blend in, to being constantly accompanied by Secret Service agents, his journey through Oxbridge Academy was marked by challenges and restrictions that most teenagers will never know. While his classmates participated in typical high school activities, football games, dances, and social events, Barron navigated a life defined by isolation, privilege, and the relentless pressures that come with being the son of a former president. Yet, even in these unique circumstances, his friends remember him as sociable, witty, and full of curiosity, always finding a way to engage despite the barriers around him. As Barron steps into adulthood, we're beginning to see more of the man he is becoming. Confident, sharp, and charismatic, ready to carve his own path in a world that has always been watching from a distance. But now, we want to hear from you. What do you think was the most unique part of Baron Trump's high school experience? Do you believe these challenges helped shape him into the person he is today? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed learning more about Baron's fascinating life. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the untold stories of public figures. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.